Hi, it's Amanda. Welcome to my channel. This is going to be my first week reviewing Sorenzo Beauty in my B.O.B. 123 series. That's black owned brands only, three wash day reviews, three styles, three company and or founder facts per video. I will not actually be providing facts right now at least because they're processing Black Friday orders and for some reason that means that their website is down. This isn't one of the brands that I've been able to find information on in other locations. So I was going to the website and yeah, the website's not available. So I have finally reached the last brand in my collection from that I've had for over a year now. Going forward, I'm gonna be reviewing products that I purchased during Black Friday, but I'm finally going to be restocking my shelf with some fresh stuff. I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with the stuff that's still there, but that'll be my problem that I'll figure out on my own. Soranzo Beauty is next. I will be reviewing the Amla and Brahmi Clay Wash, the Amla and Bamboo Deep Conditioner, Avocado and Honey Leave-In, Hair Pudding, and the Tea Tree Scalp Oil. I haven't reviewed an oil in a really long time, it feels like. I feel like the last like three or four brands that are, I, or rather I didn't have an oil from them. It'll be interesting adding that to my regimen again, although this is a scalp oil. I don't know if this is really a sealant. Work into hair. A little goes a long way. For some reason, this review felt really last minute. It didn't occur to me that I was starting a new brand until like yesterday, so. I did not put out an ingredient review video for this brand. Let me know if you want me to continue doing them. I have been doing them for probably about a year now. And in the beginning, I found them really helpful. Yeah, I don't know. I find it very helpful to have the information and I'm still gonna look them up and put them on my website, uptightcurls.com in the ingredients tab. But let me know if you still do want devoted videos for each of the brands. I know I didn't do one for curls and potions. I can still do that if it's requested and I didn't do one for this brand, but again, that's because I completely forgot that I was starting a new brand. I wanna finish my hair really early today, so I wanna go and get started as soon as possible. I will take out, feels good. I will take out my week three Curls Dynasty hair on camera, but it has been up all week, so it is going to be, um, you know, sticking up and it's not gonna look good, but I will let you know how it feels. So far, my hair feels really good. I. I did get a lot of frizz the first night that I took out my braids, so I actually just braided it back, and as you can see, I just tied them in the back as part of my style for this week. I haven't refreshed. I just braided it back, and it looks pretty good. This is a massive knot. How did this happen? Look at that. I'm gonna have trouble with this. All right, this isn't a lost cause, as long as I don't pull on the wrong strand and tighten this so that I can't get the hairs out. This might be why a lot of people, or just like the general population, have trouble growing their hair. You really have to be patient sometimes. I could have just gotten a scissor and just cut all this out, but I chose not to. So it actually turns out it was a knot on a single strand of hair. But if I had tugged at it, it would have tanked. Oh, and there we go, it just came right out. So instead of losing the ends of like 10 pieces of hair, I was able to just work that out. That's pretty cool. Look at that. If you can see that over there. To split end. That's taken care of. Okay, yeah, so the front of my hair still has shine and it's still really soft. This feels really good to the touch. I haven't refreshed anything. I just blow dried it last week, put it up, which I did on camera, and I haven't touched it since. It doesn't look as good as it did last week, but that's what sleeping on your hair seven days will do. It looked fresher last week because it was fresher. Okay. Yeah, my hair feels so so good my scalp feels clean i feel like i could probably wear my hair another week the way that it feels right now wow i knew it felt good because i could feel the exterior and the exterior felt good but wow the interior feels great i think i said this during my review but i am a huge fan of the curls dynasty products and as i mentioned also and again i don't know how much of this is dyson versus rever but my hair has never, 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 since going natural, since only doing my hair exclusively on my own, my hair has never felt this good after a blow dry. Again, I recognize it doesn't look great right now, but I mean, style wise, but again, it's been up for a week. It feels so good. It's so soft and it feels clean. Like it just feels like, oh, it feels perfect. It feels I'm gonna go pre-poo my hair, work out, and I will come back on camera when it's time to review the shampoo. Before I get started, I do just want to mention that some, possibly all of the products say to use it within nine months of purchase. 
These are a lot more than nine months old, so just something to consider. I will check and see how old they are, but not right now because I'm standing in the shower. Amla and Brahmi clay wash. Just remove this duct tape or whatever kind of tape this is. I like it. I always really like this tape. I don't know what kind it is, but like you see it sometimes. It's, it's very smooth and like, okay. Apply a small amount of palm, gently work into wet, damp hair, smooth from root to tip using finger to detangle, rinse clean with cool water. So they're not telling you to leave it on. This is what it looks like. Bentonite clay is the clay that they use in this clay wash. It smells like um, bentonite clay with a little bit of peppermint and like good smelling mess in it. Not bad. I am gonna be putting it on my scalp because it's clay and because this is a shampoo. You gotta clean my scalp, but it doesn't tell you in the instructions to do that. My hair is already really soft. It still feels soft. Let's see if it starts to strip or do anything. I don't feel anything yet. My hair is still reverting from the blow dry. It smells very pleasant. It does have little granules in it that you can feel. In terms of how it's making my hair feel, I can't really say yet, I don't know. I'm gonna take a little bit more and I'm gonna concentrate this on my scalp. It feels good, but my hair already felt good. Some products, you just put them on your hair, you don't really know what they're doing yet. I'm starting to feel a little bit of that clay caking on my strands. I would also have to rinse with cool water. I'm not gonna do that, but I never rinse with cool water. I'm not that person. So I'm gonna leave it on for as long as it takes to shampoo my hair because I do wanna give this a chance to do something. It feels like a waste to just like apply a bentonite clay to your hair and then rinse it out in like three seconds. So let's not do that. I would be surprised if letting this thing sit does harm. So let's let it sit. Let's let it ride. I'll be right back. So far, so good, but again, not really too much to say yet. I do just want to mention that if I do have any ill effects from the way that I use the shampoo this week, given that it's nine months post, and they said to use a small amount, I did not use a small amount. I will not blame the shampoo. I will follow the instructions next time. But so far, it doesn't feel any differently than the um, Chocolate Kinks and Curls clay wash that I use. I mean, my hair is still soft, which is great. It looks like it's fully reverted at this point, which is good. And now it's time to deep condition. So this is the Amla and Bamboo Deep Conditioner. Apply a small amount to palm. Okay, they just say to use small amounts. I don't use small amounts, but I feel like sometimes instructions just kind of say whatever. <laughs> Apply a small amount to palm, gently smooth and hair from root to tip. Cover for 20 to 30 minutes. Rinse well with cool water. And this one also says to use within nine months of purchase. Has a pleasant smell. Neither of these products so far sound like they've gone rancid, so I should be fine. It smells good. It smells, it smells like a fruit candy. I don't know what flavor, but this is, it's a fruity smell. Give me my first small amount. So, yep, it's smooth so far. Very smooth. Might have slip. I don't know if that was just a fluke. Getting a little bit more. That's not something I do. Okay, I think it has slip. I'm pretty sure it has slip. Yeah, it's got some good slip. It is softening, smooth. Let's see what it does after 20 to 30 minutes with heat. Let me get my comb. Does that part look like it doesn't? Mm, doesn't look like it has all that much. Okay. <laughs> all right. I mean, it's no give me slip, but this has a lot of slip. I like it. I'm gonna go and rinse out the other sections, apply the deep conditioner, sit under heat, and I'll be back when it's time to rinse and then do my week one twist out in the shower. All right, it's been about 35 minutes. Okay, it feels good. It doesn't, uh, actually no, no, it feels really good. It doesn't feel like exceptionally soft or anything, but it, it feels good. I'm gonna rinse out and I will be back with the leave-in conditioner. 
I'm not sure yet what I think about this, but I will be using it for three weeks, so let's see. But my hair definitely feels good. It feels good. Oh, and I wanted to mention, I don't think I came back on camera to say this before, it had a lot less slip in the other sections. For some reason, I had more in this first one. I don't know what that means. All right, I'm gonna go and rinse this out. I'll be back. Avocado and honey leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna apply it to the whole section, and I'll apply the pudding in the individual sections as I twist them up. Ooh, that's watery. All right, hold on. This must be an old thing. All right, shaking it up. Let's try that again. All right, still coming out like water. It's possible this one's no good. Um, also used within nine months. A gently applied to clean wet hair, smooth from root to tip using fingers to detangle hair or gently comb conditioner through hair with white tooth comb. Leave in and style and desire. All right, let me shake it a little bit more. All right. Um, <laughs> all right, well, I'm gonna put it on the hair anyway. This one may be past its prime. Okay, it's getting a little bit more white. Not any more thick though. But I'm just gonna keep applying it. it. Doesn't feel good or anything. So, you know, I'm gonna keep shaking and applying. What's it supposed to do? This creamy leave-in has lots of slip. No. It will hydrate, moisturize, and soften your strands, making them easier for detangling. Okay. It just looks more like a, like a thin lotion. Okay, now you can actually see it. it. Smells good, I can't tell what like. Um, I would not say this has slip. It doesn't feel bad. It doesn't feel special. No, I'm not even going to, because this isn't, this isn't slippery. This, I don't run combs through my hair when it feels like it does right now. Okay, I am going to twist the first section on camera, so let's get the pudding, hair pudding. I really like this smell. It smells like a like a, a warm vanilla. It's not thick. It looked like it would be, but not really. This one has slip. This is just like with the Curls Dynasty. The Kalahari Smoothie Leave-In claimed to have all the slip, but it did not in my hair, but as soon as I applied that vanilla cr cream custard, all the slip came in. Defines and promotes curls, coils, reduces frizz with a nice hold and smooth finish. Apply a small amount to palm of hand, smooth, Root to tip on freshly washed condition to detangle hair. Seal with our finisher spray or creamy oil. I don't know about a creamy oil, but I'm going to seal with this tea tree scalp oil. Apply a small amount of palm pan work into hair as desired, and a little goes a long way. It's not saying to apply it just to your scalp. Smells minty. Smells tea tree. I don't particularly like the smell of tea tree. I really like the hair pudding. This is just the first section, so let's let's see if that continues. But I am going to do my starter braid. And then I will continue off camera. This is my third in-shower twist out. I feel like they look exactly like my non-in-shower twist out, but this is more efficient from a time perspective. So I'm gonna keep doing it like this. I actually wanted to try my twisting tool because I feel like with my hair wetter, because I like just rinsed it, it might actually be quicker because I don't twist very fast. I know I don't do that routine that I used to do, like my old twisting technique, but it's because over time I just do different things. So it's not because I don't like it and it does actually allow me to twist faster. I don't know why I don't do it, but I don't. Make sure the ends are detangled. Apply a little bit more cream. I am gonna put mango butter on, the, on this one just because the products are not very thick. Now I'm just gonna twirl and secure at the root. I'm gonna go continue this and I'll be back when I'm all done. All right, products are in. I kept the sections relatively big because I just really, <laughs> so the first gloves that I was wearing, the blue ones, they're too small for me and they were like cutting off the circulation on my fingers and it was really painful to twist my hair. <laughs> So um, I had one pair of my other ones left, so I put those on and finished, but I just, I just really wasn't feeling twisting my hair today. So I made the sections pretty large. The pudding was very slippery in some of them and like not particularly on the others. I don't know, it's kind of weird. I don't know what I think about the products yet, but again, this is just week one of three. I will be paying attention again next week. I mean, like I pay attention every week, but 
I don't know what to, I think yet. So uh, that's why it was not very definitive in this video. I will let you know my thoughts when I am sure of what they are. I'm gonna try to sit under the dryer for like 30 minutes and um, I'll be back when my hair is dry sometime tomorrow after tennis. I ended up not having any time to sit under the dryer at all in the last two days, but I'm hoping that my hair is dry given it has been two days. I'm not entirely confident, but we shall see. I was not particularly excited about that wash day. I didn't really enjoy it all that much and I didn't really know how to judge the products based on that first run, but my twists feel really, really soft. So that is a pleasant, actually it's a surprise. <laughs> so let us get started with this takedown and see what the final results are looking like. The whole feels good. Here are the first three. Another collection that's providing a nice shine. I'm gonna go take off the rest and I'll be back when they are all out before I do any kind of separating. Pre-separation results, I gotta say, are looking pretty good. What do you think? Okay, I'm gonna go and separate. <laughs> I'll be right back. Final results and I gotta say, the products came through in the end. My hair feels really, really good. I don't think I'm gonna keep this definition for very long. Only because it, it, I don't wanna say it feels flimsy, but it, it doesn't feel long lasting. Plus it's like winter and like, ugh. I'm not gonna wear it out. I also feel like I should put it away. It's not gonna, it's not gonna last very long. But anyway, looks good so far. Hair feels really good. Hoping I can make more sense of the individual products or my experience with the individual products next week and in week three. But meanwhile, yep, came through in week one. I checked and I ordered the products on September 7th of 2020. It is now December, probably like 12th of 2021. Yep, over nine months old, but still doing the thing. You see the shine, good definition. Happy with the products, all right. <laughs> So that brings me to the end of this video. If you like my content and haven't done so already, please consider subscribing, like, comment, and share, and I will talk to you in my next one. Thanks and have a good one.